Hello, everyone, and welcome to Digital Journeys. I'm Jerry Herodin, and I will be the moderator for today's discussion with PICE Energy Solutions. PICE is a company that enables utilities, campuses, and communities to hit their clean energy goals. Cherry Beckert has been working with PICE by offering them solutions and services for utilities, energy service providers, and organizations deploying PICE technologies. Joining us today are Tim Allen, PICE President and CEO, Nate Ridgenball, Managing Director for Cherry Beckert and a PICE Energy Solutions Leader, and John Schrader, a Director of Cherry Beckert's Digital Advisory Practice. Guys, thanks for being here today. Hey, Jerry, this is Tim. So excited to be on with you guys today and looking forward to this conversation. Thanks, Jerry. Happy to be here. Yep, Jerry, glad to be here as well. All right, well, I tell you what, let's go and get this started. Tim, this question is going to be for you. So tell me about your history and what does your company do? Sure. PICE was formed in 2016 to focus on using real-time data and combining it with some of the newer trends in the industry at the time with AI and machine learning to autonomously, autonomously control distributed energy resources. This would include wind, solar, batteries. We developed our first commercial solution of a microgrid controller, a power plant controller, in 2018, and our first distributed energy resource management system in 2020. Stepping through our history in terms of ownership in 2021, we were fully acquired by Yokogawa Electric Corporation, a Japanese company. And coming to the present, we now have over one and a half gigawatts of contracted assets under control with our software. As for summarizing what we do, I would say that we provide software products and solutions for managing the complexities arising from this 21st century electric grid that now has two-way power flow all the way down to homes and businesses. Okay, great. Yeah, it sounds like very exciting times. And, and how did you first get connected with Cherry Beckert? That's a great question. Nate and I um, have been friends for over 15 years. In 2021, Nate worked for us for a little while as a contract employee prior to joining Cherry Becker. After his time working for PICE and joining Cherry Becker, he was able to identify areas where our two companies would benefit from working together. Nate, do you have anything you want to add to that? Thanks, Jerry. Thanks, Tim. I'll just add that it's been a wonderful uh, relationship between our organizations, uh, serving as not only a trusted advisor, but as we help accelerate PICE's product launch activities, we are transitioning to becoming an alliance partner as well. And so the relationship will only strengthen. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. So, Nate, this, this next question is coming to you. So, PICE and Cherry Beckert have partnered on end-to-end -end design and replatforming of its IEEE 2030.5 DER management and communications platform. Nate, what does this mean? What will this product enable utilities to do? PICE's DER management and communications platform helps utilities register, monitor, organize, and schedule the dispatch of customer distributed energy resources. And this includes energy storage and solar photovoltaic via a cloud native server running the IEEE 2030.5 standard protocol. What it does is it allows electric utilities and power aggregators to gain visibility and manage thousands of customer DERs. It's an essential first step on understanding and modeling and managing the grid of the future and renewable energy. Well, thanks for that explanation, Nate. Uh, Tim, I'm going to ask you, so what are the benefits of this solution and how does it prepare utilities for the grid of the future? The benefits of this solution are more granular visibility and control capability for these distributed resources. I think everybody's familiar with 
automated meters, right, the smart meters on our homes, and you think, wow, the utility knows how I use my power, right? What's happening now with electric vehicles, batteries being installed on homes, the utilities cannot differentiate what the behavior is of a native home like in terms of your washing machine, your HVAC system, versus are you now dispatching your battery for specific purposes, charging it at certain times or discharging it at other times, or even being able to separate out when you're charging your vehicle. So with this solution, an edge gateway can provide granular visibility and data collection and ultimately control. Having that data then enables analysis for planners. It enables real-time insights for grid operators. Some of the examples of why that's important is that Instead of now just knowing there's a problem on the system, like the voltage is too high or the voltage is too low, the operator can see which distributed resources could be contributing to the problem. And then design programs or tools to autonomously dispatch those resources to solve those problems. So really having this product its visibility and its communication backbone is the beginning of the journey into this 21st century grid and operating it safely and reliably. So now let's get down into the technical perspective of the application development process of this product. John, you were heavily involved with this. Talk about this. What was that like? Yeah, thanks, Jerry. Um, from a technical perspective, um, we were really brought on to help PICE uh, augment their existing development team. And we've really just always operated as kind of an extension of the PICE development and product teams to help them architect and to guide them and fill in any gaps of the launch and development of, of any new product. And so we were brought in to help with the IEEE 2030.5 server product. And we started out with what we call an architecture design solution or an ADS for short. And, and really it's just a way for us to understand the industry. PICE is the, the PICE teammates are the experts in this industry. And we didn't know what we didn't know yet, but we were brought in to work closely with them to kind of translate their industry knowledge into the customer needs in a software solution. And so that's really what we did to focus on early is the architecture design solution. So identifying the Azure Cloud Platform as our initial deployment you know, platform and working always closely with cross-platform design in mind, but uh, really talking through infrastructure components needed, application components, information and data components, security requirements and components, and then just the marketplace launch uh, requirements. So it was been uh, it's been a great effort all along. Yeah, that that sounds really good. I mean, there was a lot of collaboration there. Um, Tim, I'm going to ask you this question, and then I'll jump over to Nate. But from your perspective collaborating with Cherry Becker, what was that experience like for you? Overall, been a great experience. For my team, working with Cherry Becker was really empowering and, and enabled my team to grow in their confidence in two particular ways. Knowing that they had additional resources to support them in taking on a big new challenging project and two, bringing on some skills in cloud computing that we needed support on are two very valuable ways that Cherry Backer was able to come in, plug into our development team, and form a partnership throughout the development of this product. It's really been an, an amazing journey we've been on, and we've continued to identify additional areas, uh, as Nate mentioned earlier, where now developing an alliance agreement to go to market together and looking at future opportunities to do joint projects. Nate, do you have anything to add to that? Uh, Jerry and Tim, nothing more than we're grateful for the relationship. Uh, and it's really been a pleasure uh, teaming the way that we have 
um, Tim and I have been closely working together to identify, you know, particular capabilities within Cherry Beckert that may be relevant to the product launch or other business matters. And so the conversations that we've been having between members of the PICE team and the Cherry Becker team have been very fruitful and helpful to further uh, guide uh, how our relationship continues forward. So, John, do you have anything else to add? I want to just say, hey, working with the PICE team has been like one big happy family. The development and delivery team has been all, from all around the globe. And so through daily scrum, stand-ups, and scheduled design and retrospective sessions, the software delivery team has worked very efficiently together across the across the globe. So it's been it's been a great partnership from our perspective. So now we're going to jump into the customer implementation standpoint. Um, Nate, this is for you. What does this product bring to the table as far as simplicity of implementing the product? From a deployment perspective, it is pretty straightforward, and it's also able to be in installed by customers themselves. The product documentation allows for customers to go through in a stepwise manner how to configure their environment, deploy the product, configure the product, and then start using it. But for those customers who either don't have resource availability or who just want a little bit of help, Pice and Cherry Beckert uh, can offer uh, support and implementation services for those customers who so need it. Also, Jerry, regarding implementation, the product is soon to be available on the Microsoft Azure marketplace. And so that is going to be a key entry point for customers for obtaining and then deploying the product. John, could you just add a couple comments on that regarding uh, the process for getting it from the Azure marketplace and getting it set up in the customer's environment? The key to, um, I think the requirements around the 2030.5 product and has always been, how can we make uh, this product easily accessible and attainable and from the Azure marketplace and something that is almost and as closely related to one-click deployment as possible. Uh, really a lightweight server, a lightweight cloud native product that we worked with Pice to uh, architect and design and uh, and are working to deploy it on the Azure Marketplace. So the idea of their other products are a little bit uh, more full extents, you know, extensive. And uh, so we worked closely with them to architect and and create a simple, small footprint product that could be easily deployed in, in the cloud marketplace such as Azure. All right. Well, thanks for that explanation, John. Appreciate it. So, Nate, how can someone learn more about this product? You can learn more about this product at pice.com. That's P-X-I-S-E.com. Or uh, you can read about it and download it from the Azure Marketplace. So, do we have any parting shots? Anyone have any closing thoughts? I want to thank you, first of all, for bringing this group together and having this great discussion. And just want to ensure that everyone is aware that this is the first product in a family of products that we'll be developing that are cloud native to continue providing these solutions to our customers with our expertise and control and optimization of these distributed energy resources. Thanks, Tim. And I would add to that, you know, as we both work together on developing PICE products, but also jointly serve clients around the world, we're also identifying other opportunities to apply PICE's expertise in controls technology and in renewables and in the electric grid with what Cherry Becker brings to the table around cloud architecture, asset monitoring, advanced analytics, and launching products and managed solutions on leading marketplaces. Well, that's a wrap for today's discussion. Thanks again, Tim, Nate, and John. And as always, feel free to like and share this podcast and stay tuned for the next Digital Journeys.